worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours Hi, good morning. Rebecca with Thrifting with Rebecca. Uh, it is Tuesday, February, uh, what is the date today? 21st, and this is my morning vlog. Um, I wanted to talk about, uh, first, the auction I did on Friday night uh, went really well, way better than I expected. I, I tried to set myself a goal, as I've said before, and the goal I set, I think, was like $200 that night. I went way over that. <laughs> I didn't I didn't expect to do as well as I did, and uh, there was a nice surprise. That's why I try to keep my goal amount low so that you know if they don't go well then the disappointment is not there <laughs> but if they go better then you know that that goes really well and um uh i want to give a shout out to lakeside uh vintage uh she she helped no no lakeside treasures uh she helped me throughout my whole auction she was there a long time and she bought a lot of stuff and she um she was fantastic she was like <laughs> getting other people to come into the room she was challenging them that if they bought this then she was gonna buy this bigger item you know and she ended up buying my murano uh dancing lady and uh also uh this other vase and a uh, um I'm trying to think of the name of the ponies figurine. Well, anyway, she 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 bought a lot and and she really helped me. And um, you know that's one of the best parts about whatnot is the community and all the people that you know. I could tell that she was experienced and um, the community of whatnot of resellers helping other resellers and even helping buyers and buy some buyers you know, that are, are um, veteran buyers that have been doing it and buying from these eBay and, uh, you know, these websites for 20 years since they started. Um, I think it's like 30 years, actually. But uh, anyway, you know, these are the best people to learn from. They are the best people you want coming in your room because they know what they're talking about, they know what they're looking for, and they know how to work the system. And, and, you know, you can learn so much from them. And uh, so, you know, as I, you know, the niche lady stopped in again and, and bought some items and some keychains. And, you know, she's a great person to learn from. And, um, you know, and she's super popular, but she's just a cool lady. She's just, she's cool. And, and you know, she's not, she's not someone that seems like, she's out for fame and all that she just seems like she's living her best life and she's projecting that out to her her audience and to um people her friends and and to the public and and she's one of those people that genuinely is a good person and um and, and i don't know her <laughs> personally i've talked to her a few times in my room in my auctions but um just from her videos and stuff and uh i don't know you just get that vibe from her you know some people you can tell that it's it's a different situation but it doesn't seem like that with her she seems like the real deal and um i'm glad to have i'm glad to have had her in my options um and uh you know people like lakeside treasures she was she uh she was really great and you know, I, a, a lot of my goal right now isn't to make this huge amount of money. I mean, obviously, I want to make money, you know, but it's really to build my brand and to get my um, thrifty with Rebecca more out there in the world, you know, and to become a Danny or, or a um, Jocelyn or Tiffany, you know, and I mean, obviously, to be my own person. But, um, you know, I just, I'm at a place in my life, you know, 
we just, my husband and I just bought this house a month and a half ago. And I have a job that I, a full, I work a full-time job at a lock, for a locksmith here in DeKalb. And I love my job. I, sorry, my husband and my son are walking around upstairs and this is the old house that so creaks a lot. <laughs> I love my job. I've been at it seven years and I, I just love it. And I love my reselling job. And I am, I'm finally at a place where I am pretty content with my life and my choices. You know, buying this house was probably one of the best things that has happened to me and my husband in a long time. You know, for the last few years, we've been kind of just living to be living. It, you know, this house has brought out something in him as well. Um, so an excitement in him and, and, and in myself, it is, it has changed the dynamics of our relationship, um, for the better. Um, we, you know, we, we were kind of just living in a rut of week to week and just getting through, getting through everything that goes on or happens and, and just making it, you know, and we're still just making it <laughs> now that we have a mortgage, but it's. A more content making it with some more you know you're happy that you are paying this mortgage you're happy that all your money is going to this house because this is your dream house this is your the house you've wanted your whole life and at least for me it is and my husband is so extremely happy with this house and he's been working on it day and night since we got it and um and it, it just has changed everything so my, my, and, and now that I'm able to do the auctions here in my own house and at my own pace and, you know, I could do them in my own way and all my stuff is here and when I go source, I have all things I need to clean them and, and get them ready and uh, to prepare for my auctions and stuff. And it's just, you know, it's come for full circle for us and, and, and I just can't wait you know, for the future and what that holds and thing plans we have. And um, so that I think to me is the ultimate goal is to achieve happiness in the life you're leading in your lives and your, in your kids' lives and your spouse's life and uh, wanting to uh, project that out to other people to that's what that, that's what I meant when I said that Danny, she she seems like she projects that out to her fans and public and what you know viewers, and um, that would be an ultimate goal for me is to to project that and to help other resellers. You know, I have not been at this, but only for a couple of years, but I've learned so much in those couple of years that I, I want to help other sellers, you know, make things less stressful for them, you know, up and coming sellers or, or even buyers, you know, um, and that's what I've been trying to do in these videos and, and whatnot. Often in my auctions, I do that. I, I hang out and I let people ask questions and they, they start to really engage with me and it's been it's been really great that part of it has been really great you know and people have told me in my auctions that they love the way i do my auctions and i have found a, a strategy of how i do them and I, a routine of it and i like it i like the routine and I, you know i like engaging with the viewers the the buyers even if they're not buyers if they're just in there to learn that you know that only helping other resellers be you know become better only helps every all the other resellers and you know it only helps everybody else become better and you know being part of this community has changed things for me in ways i never you know expected you know engaging i i was always a person that just kept to myself i didn't talk to other people besides my family I, I don't know. I think there were years that I didn't go talk to other people besides my family. So now I get to talk to tons of people and, and I never, you know, had my voice, used my voice 
for that. You know, I wanted to help people. My, I would help my family and everybody in it that needed me to do whatever they need me to do. I would do it, and um, and then now I can help other resellers like me, the people that are in my world, in this this world of ours. <laughs> you know, so I mean, I hope that a lot of people have those kind of goals. I, I of course, my goal is ultimately to be able to support my family with reselling um, and eventually it become full time for me. It can't right now, but I, and then I'm working towards that. And, and, and I hope that, um, I hope that you all come along with me on that journey. You know, I'm 48, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, so I started this when I was 46 and that's okay. It's, it, it's perfectly fine. I have a long time to go, and and I'm hoping to make the best of that time and to make the best life for my kids that I can make and for my husband. And um, my husband, he's a really good man, and he's a really good hard worker, and he takes care of his family. And uh, we've been together 22 years or so. Well, we've been married 22 years. We've been together about 27 um, on and off before we got married. And, uh, sorry, my ear, it just, um, anyway, um, my next auction is probably going to be like on, I got to check and see what, where everybody is and where they're going to have their auctions, whether it's Thursday or Friday. I mean, I, I usually do one Tuesday night, but I did not, I have not been able, everything I sourced last week sold. So I don't have anything. I, I have stuff. But it's stuff that has, I have ran a bunch of times in my auctions. So I'm trying to, I got to get new stuff. I might go to Goodwill today and have to work and see if they have anything. Um, and uh, maybe I'll do a pop-up auction tonight, just a quick one. And uh, anyway, I went on Friday morning to this store in town called This and That Collectibles. And I did a YouTube video on it. And I think I... Did I do a haul? I don't know. No, I didn't, because I didn't auction that night. And I included all that stuff, and I had got this swung vase. It was an avocado green Fenton thumbprint swung vase there for $10. I couldn't believe it. The store owner couldn't believe it. He, she was like, if I had known this was there, I would have bought it. it. It was on this high shelf, and I just took a chance and asked the owner to come get it down, and let's see how much it was. And it was only $10. <laughs> so... That was great, and uh, and then I found uh, some cow parade figurines. They always do well. Some lovebirds, those did well. I sold most of everything I got that day. I think I might have. I had got three lovebirds, and I sold like two, one or two of them. And I, or maybe I got four because I have two still. Anyway, yeah. So that auction it went really well, and um, so now I need more stuff. So. I gotta go look for stuff so that I can add it to my auction and change things up. And I did sell some older things that I wanted. I uh, that also I had found this six piece set. It was six coffee mugs. They were Otagiri Roadrunner vintage coffee mugs with a Roadrunner bird on them. And I sold them for I bought them for a dollar each, and I sold them for like eighty dollars. And um, so that was great. That was great. My, you know, Otagiri always sells really fast for me. I hardly ever keep it. And, uh, yeah. So, um, my next auction will be this week. I will have another one t this week. And, uh, my, my goal eventually is if I could at least earn, um, around $1,000 a week. If I could get that, you know, around, uh, close to it. It doesn't have to be 1000 then, then I, I know I would feel more secure that if anything happened to my job, I would, you know, have more stability. So, um, all right. So that was all I wanted to talk about this morning. Um, I hope to see you at my auctions. And I hope you please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out some of my other videos. And I will see you tomorrow. All right?
worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours 